Hi, my name is Felicity and I work as a civil engineer at Becca. Civil engineering is a really broad discipline. Civil engineering covers basically anything that you would see at a construction site. So anytime you see any construction going on, there's normally a civil engineer behind some parts of that. So I work in the land development team and we basically design all the civil engineering components of new land development jobs. And a lot of what we do is all of the infrastructure that goes below the ground, so stuff that you don't see. What I focus on is stormwater design, which is basically making sure that your new development doesn't flood. So when you build a new development, you get a whole lot of new concrete, new buildings, new roads, and that means that the stormwater can't drain into the ground like it normally would. So we need to install all this infrastructure below the ground so that it actually has so much drain to. So I spend about half a day a week out on construction sites doing site inspections and making sure that the people that are building our projects are actually following the standards and that the things they're building are up to our designs. And then the rest of the time I am in the office doing stormwater design mostly, which uh, involves a lot of calculations and engineering drawings. At the moment I'm working on a road widening job, so they're widening a road to make room for more traffic. This means that we need to improve the stormwater network because there's less grass available for the rain to just drain into. I'm currently just updating all of the drawings at the moment so that when we pass it on to the contractors they know what to build and where to build it. In our stormwater designs we have to account for climate change because as climate change gets more and more severe uh, the amount of rainfall we get is increasing year on year. Also our sea levels are rising so a lot of our infrastructure that exists by the ocean is already kind of under threat. A lot of the infrastructure was built decades ago before they even considered climate change in their designs so it's really important that we keep working to upgrade this infrastructure. So at school I really enjoyed physics and maths and kind of the most obvious choice for me to study at uni was to study engineering. I kind of studied engineering in my first year and then in my second year at uni I decided to pick civil engineering specifically because I wanted to work on physically massive projects so that covered like a massive area because I just think that's cool because you can have obviously a really big impact. So females in engineering are definitely outnumbered to the males, um, but that is kind of improving year on year. And I think at Becker, our grad intake is about 50-50, which is awesome. As a female in engineering, I feel like I'm no less qualified than my male colleagues to uh, pull off a project. So I think it's just really important to have that confidence in your abilities and important to find a workplace where they celebrate diversity and inclusion. So the thing I like most about engineering is being able to do a whole heap of problem solving and actually working on projects that physically get built in the real world. It's really cool to be able to see your projects be constructed. So engineering is mostly about problem solving so you need to be quite a logical person and you need to enjoy using your brain. Uh, I'd say that it's quite important to enjoy maths and physics but you don't necessarily need to be really good at them to be able become an engineer. Uh, you do need to have really good kind of people skills because all of the projects you work on will be in teams of people and you need to be able to collaborate with your colleagues and communicate with clients and contractors. So to be an engineer you need to be really good at managing your time because there are quite tight deadlines a lot of the time. A lot of our projects are for council um, and so they need to be built kind of as quickly as possible and within budget. So a lot of the time it is quite high pressure, uh, but if you manage your time, then normally everything should go to plan. So I got a Bachelor of Civil and Environmental Engineering from the University of Auckland, which is the four-year honours degree, and you can get the same degree at Canterbury University. These four-year honours degrees really increase your chances of being hired into the civil engineering field but any engineering degree could help you get into what I work on. So civil engineering is a really broad field and the civil engineering degree actually has a lot of components to it where you can end up in a huge amount of different industries. So civil engineering also covers things like structural engineering, which focuses on things like bridges and buildings. 
I've also got geotechnical engineering, uh, which is a lot of like foundation work. There's also transportation engineering and traffic engineering. There's stormwater engineering, which is what I do. And there's also environmental engineering. My advice would be if you're really keen on engineering is to try and find someone to talk to who is either a civil engineer or who knows a lot about it. Um, I think it's a really cool field though with a huge amount of opportunities and it's so broad that there's bound to be something in it that you would enjoy.